Everybody wants to be free, but what is freedom? There are probably as many definitions as there are people walking this spinning planet. Some want individual freedom, others crave financial independence or political autonomy, freedom of movement, freedom of speech, the right to vote. Democracy is still being fought for today on blood red streets across the world. Man has been striving for emancipation from one form of slavery or another since Moses demanded of the Egyptian Pharaoh, let my people go. But freedom will not be found in the world, freedom exists within. And of course, every inner kingdom demands an inner crown. Until we establish and stabilize this silent observer, we will always remain enslaved by one base impulse or another. How do we reveal this illumined spirit, the master of life on earth, impervious to the rush of passions? Perhaps we will never know who we truly are until we first identify who we clearly are not. Where must this search begin? Even a casual inquiry will reveal an overdose of voices out there proffering direction on the esoteric, the exoteric, the physical and the metaphysical. But who are they talking to? There is a presumption that it's a singular identity, it's not. A collection of disparate personalities and sub-personalities, pain bodies and shadow selves, commandeer and possess each individual body. Some are dominant, some idle, some are relatively harmless, others actively and violently sabotage our rush for liberty. We kid ourselves that we're at the top of the food chain. This is a naive folly. We can't even control our own moods and appetites. We're not even above Twitter. The TV and the radio and the tabloid newspapers, they loot our rich attention every day and we let them. The human is fish in a barrel, easily baited, fast food for the hidden enemy. The crime is not that we're slaves within our own bodies. The real tragedy is that we don't know it. And when these shadow characters bring us into disrepute, which they must, we rationalise our cruelties. We tell ourselves and anyone else that will listen, I was not myself. The emphasis here is on the prefix I and the identification of this I in all of its many presentations and associations as us. They are not us. They are not I. Not the true I, the divine CEO of which there can only be one. 